What's going on guys, Eric here and welcome to the channel. In this video, I'll show you how I wrap the grill emblem of this 2019 Chevrolet Silverado in KPMF's gloss iridescent green black. In recent model years, Chevrolet has changed the front grill emblem from the simple bow tie to a full bar that says Chevrolet on it. So that has effectively changed how you would wrap your front grill emblem. I'll show you from beginning to end how I wrap this entire grill bar emblem to include up close how I cut out each of the individual letters. Guys, up front, I'll let you know that wrapping this grill bar emblem wasn't that difficult overall, but it is a bit tedious having to cut out each of the individual letters on the Chevrolet word itself. And so with that, let's go ahead and get started on the tutorial portion of this video. So you'll start with a piece that's long enough and tall enough to go across the entire grill emblem with a little bit of extra on either side. Once I've got that laid down, you can see that I'm starting to anchor the center and I'm um, basically getting it tacked down really good because what I'm going to do is I'm going to go on the passenger side and start to pull and do a good horizontal stretch. And I want horizontal wrinkles like you see in the arrow there. And the reason I'm doing that is because with horizontal wrinkles, you can see I'm now that when I do that, when I just pull up and down, it effectively glasses out the face of the emblem. And then on the tops and the bottoms, the vinyl just falls right in and lays around on top. So I'm going to do the same thing on the driver's side, get those horizontal wrinkles uh, across the face, flat out, flatten out the face, and then start to lay down the upper and lower flats, the top and bottom. Basically, I'm going all the way to the uh, where the top of the grill emblem meets the headlight area there and you can see by those red arrows that I had placed where they ended up and I'm laying those flats there because once you get to those areas there's a little bit more work involved now what I did is I went ahead and started to cut out each of the individual letters versus finishing up the rest of the grill bar because if I messed up it's going to be in these letters here and I'd hate to get the whole grill bar done and then mess up in the letters and have to redo the whole thing so what I'm doing is there's a couple ledges and you can see where I'm pointing where I'm getting the vinyl to inside the lettering itself so on that on the right side there you can see I got it to a ledge and it kind of goes in and then forms like another ledge where then it goes straight into the grill emblem itself and I'm forming that vinyl up to that line or those lines there so I have a cutting surface or a cutting line that I can follow uh, to cut this out. I'm not wrapping all the way in. I'm basically wrapping it into where it kind of angles in and then it drops and turns into basically a 90 degree um, flat going into the emblem itself. Uh, on that far right side there what I'm doing is I'm just giving a little bit more of a relief cut. You can see I cut in the, in the middle of the vinyl of the letter so that I have a relief cut. Uh, to be able to move that vinyl inward a little bit into the uh, emblem itself. And so once I have the emblem basically lined out, and what I'm doing is I'm using my micro squeegee to make sure I have a good defined line. And you do want a good defined line because that's where your blade's going to cut. And you want it uh, lined up against the uh, ledge, if you will, of the inner part of the uh, emblem lettering itself. And so that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to set all that up so that when I do cut, um, it'll be a nice, good, clean, straight cut using the side of that um, emblem itself, the ledge, if you will, to do that. Now, make sure when you're about to cut, snap off a new blade uh, so that it's as sharp as it can be. Um, and I'm using actually a carbon blade, a black carbon blade, which is sharper than the stainless steel or the stainless um, regular uh, type of blade. And so you can see on the top side there, I have this side of my blade up against the inner flat of the um, emblem lettering itself and I'm taking my time because I don't want to cut or scratch the the emblem the plastic and the paint and so you can see all I'm doing now is once I've defined those lines I'm taking my knife and uh, carefully and slowly uh, cutting right along those line edges and so you can see I'm starting kind of in the middle there to get it going and then now that I have an opening I can take my blade and then slide it really carefully along the bottom edge there and uh, reach the corner. Once you reach the corner, be careful because you don't want to dig the blade side of your knife into the corners as you try to turn it. So just changing the angle here a little bit to get a better view, hopefully. Um, now I'm going to go ahead and uh, try to finish off uh, this cut here. Um, sorry, my fingers are blocking that side there, but basically all I'm doing is now you can see it same thing I did is I started up in the corner and I'm carefully and when I got to the bottom corner just coming around that bend. And so that outer edge there is now cut. 
as you can see and then you can free it up if you need to um, for the other part of that so just switching camera angles there again just to hopefully get you a better view of what I'm doing here and now I'm just gonna cut on the far right side straight down um, and if you do have a part that's uh, not cut all the way through don't pull at it because you could rip your vinyl and pull up the part that you don't want uh, just be sure to you know cut cut into uh, finish the cut basically so that it releases nice and cleanly and so what I'm trying to do here is pick up the vinyl a little bit because it laid down on that flat and it's hard to cut when it's like that so I wanted to lift it up so I can get um, that line again uh, so that it's a good clean nice and clean even cut so take your time with this uh, again this is the most tedious part of doing this particular project um, but once you get going and once you get a feel for it I will tell you you speed up and you can get faster doing each of these letters it did take for all these letters a couple minutes per letter to do this to set it up you know get the lines defined traced out and then carefully cut each one you know again take your time with this if you want to you want to do a good job so it looks nice because it'd be a shame where you did all this hard work to get it set up uh, you did most of the letters and then you like really screw up on one and then now you, know, you have a choice to face of either redoing the whole thing and now you're basically doing this twice or put a patch in there which patches depending on the vinyl really never look quite as good as if you had gotten it right the first time and so that's why I'm taking my time and going pretty slowly here I'm also doing a little bit slower here so I can do some instructional walkthrough uh, on how I'm doing this as well uh, but you do and you will get faster as you do uh, subsequent letters after this and so again I got a piece that's stuck there um, I don't want to pull at it and then I need to finish off the cut on the underside uh, of that uh, bottom part of the C again there's a piece that's stuck in the corner instead of pulling at it I just use my knife to cut it once you've fully cut everything use your finger or whatever to seal down all the edges and so that is essentially how I cut out each of these letters so just a bunch more letters to go after this so taking a quick look at that C looks nice and clean everything's nice and good and again that was with the setup and so here's just a super fast time lapse cutting out the rest of these letters again not that difficult you know take some time to set it up take some time to cut your relief cuts inside the center of the letters uh, take some time to um, trace out each of your lines and then it will come out looking really good so once all the letters are cut out, now I am comfortable with finishing off the rest of the uh, grill bar emblem itself. And so I already laid down the top flats and now I'm working on the bottom flats. Now I'm reaching the first kind of dip where the bar meets the headlight and angles a little bit. Um, and then finishing off uh, the top there. And I'm going to go ahead and cut off that part where it starts at the headlight and go about to the middle. There's a good, there's a uh, plastic trim piece behind that kind of meets the, the painted portion and I'm just floating my blade in between there to cut out that top half and I only went to about the halfway point so kind of taking a closer look here uh, I forgot to do a little bit more prep than I should have and um, put some tape on the headlight reason I'm putting tape there is so that it creates a lower surface energy so that that flap of vinyl there that's up against the headlight uh, won't stick quite so hard to it because it it will grab it pretty easily and then just stick and fight and then you risk ripping the vinyl trying to pull it off and so what I'm doing is I'm laying across the flat part there uh, that meets the underside of the tail light getting that nice and flat and laid down on top of the top part of the grill and then I'm actually going on to the tail light just a little bit I'm bridging it there's a small gap between the grill bar emblem and the underside of the tail light so I'm bridging that and creating a nice clean bridge and then I'm going up on the tail light a little bit or not tail light excuse me headlight um, sorry I was calling it tail light this whole time on the headlight a little bit uh, so that I can trim and with the tape there I have protective coating so I'm now going to trim on the tail light headlight uh, just about not even an eighth maybe a couple millimeters up onto that and what I'm doing is creating a, a flap that will now release it off of the headlight um, and then push that you know get it off of there and then I can lay that down and it provides a little extra coverage a little extra vinyl that goes down and underneath uh, and into under the uh, under the headlight itself and creates a good you know it looks more continuous it looks like it's fully painted all the way underneath and you can see I'm using my micro squeegee to basically lay down all that vinyl 
uh, underneath the taillight itself or headlight itself. I'm not sure why I keep calling it taillight. Ha ha. And so just continuing to do that. I've got the, uh, the vinyl laid around that corner and I'll do it on the other side. I'll show you a little closer how I tackle that corner there. It is a little difficult, especially since the headlight is on there and the, uh, that cheek to the right, you can see I have it kind of propped up and open with that, um, plastic stick there. Um, it is a little more difficult, so you want to create some space there. If you can remove those parts of the headlight and that plastic, I call it a cheek, uh, it will make this job way easier because you can access those corners much better. And so you can see all I did was trim off the excess now uh, using my blade to cut kind of behind the, uh, the grill because I'm able to get my knife against the back edge of the grill, the side of my knife against the back edge of the grill, and use that as my cut guideline and um, basically get good full coverage. And so all I'm doing here is a little tweaking on that final side there, uh, going ahead and cutting underneath from the center towards the bottom corner of the grill emblem, as you can see there, trimming that off. And I only cut to the center because I want to leave plenty of extra to do any fixes if I need to on the passenger side once I finish up the driver's side. And so for all intents and purposes, I'm done with that driver's side. So hopefully this will be a closer up uh, view of what I did. So that first bar or that first dip uh, is what I was talking about earlier where I stopped before going all the rest of the way on the flats. And you can see all I'm doing is over the corner, um, you can see that I went left and right over that corner. So I laid it down, laid the vinyl down over the that kind of peak there and then swept the vinyl out to the left and to the right. And you can see all I did there was trim off the excess on that top flat and trim it down. And that way you get a good corner um, coverage, that ledge coverage there, and I'm creating a relief cut here uh, that looks nice and smooth and clean and um, ensures that you get all the way in and cover that without any stress on the uh, on the vinyl itself. And so kind of like what I did on the last, on the, on the driver's side, all I'm doing is setting everything up. I'm finishing up the bottom flat underneath tucking it, uh, tucking the vinyl under to the where it meets the plastic trim piece. And so here I'm going to show you how I tackled the corners that I'm reaching. Basically what I did was I, in a triangular motion, and I'll show you some arrows here, you can see that I'm putting the vinyl over the high apex portion of the, um, the corner piece on the top left of the uh, grill bar there. So you can see I'm using my fingers to sweep out the vinyl to the left and to the right, and I'm trying to lay over that corner apex where the red arrow is going right there and then once i got that laid over that that apex you know and i swept the vinyl out to the right and to the left of that you can see that it created a good flat on both sides of that apex there and then once i get that to the end i can just finish tucking everything in and tight and essentially do the same thing create that bridge just under the headlight get the vinyl up onto the headlight just a little bit nice and flat and clean you can see i'm flattening out and cleaning up so when i cut it it doesn't get all chattery looking from cutting through wrinkles uh, and then on the bottom corner i essentially did the same thing um, basically worked the vinyl over that corner apex to the left and the right on the flat sides and then basically swept out the vinyl and then tucked it in once I reached the backside of the grill bar emblem itself. So getting me a little heat to shrink it up because I did put, you know, working it back into there, did stretch it just a little bit. So a little heat will shrink that back up and then it'll shrink around the corner or you can now have relaxed vinyl then mold around that corner. Then once I've got it set all the way that I like it, just go ahead and trim off the excess. Again, I can reach the um, back side of the grill bar emblem with uh, with my knife blade against the side and float that in there. I'm going to cut onto the headlight since I do have it taped very carefully, very gently. It's just all I got to do is score the vinyl, not cut all the way through. Uh, about a millimeter, a couple millimeters up onto the headlight, and then I will free up that vinyl, and then I can use my micro squeegee to then lay it down, and it'll look nice and clean, full coverage uh, underneath the headlight but on top of the top part of the grill bar emblem itself. And so just using my micro squeegee to do that, that particular process, freeing up the vinyl off of the tape. And again, that tape makes it makes the vinyl release from the headlight so much easier because uh, it's a lower surface energy than the super slick, smooth uh, headlight housing itself. So you can see I'm just trying to get that vinyl free and then work it off a little bit 
and then use my micro squeegee, as you can see there, to lay down the vinyl. And notice I'm kind of, it's hard to see, but I'm actually sweeping the vinyl. I'm not pushing it straight in. I'm, as I push it, I am going in a direction to either the left or the right, not straight back in this case. So go ahead and lay that down with my micro squeegee. Make sure everything is tucked in nice and cleanly. I'm working on that corner because I want it to look really good. So you can see I'm spending a little bit of time on that corner there. So that looks like it's painted and that the corner itself has full coverage. Spent all this time making sure they did a good job. And you can see that cheek piece. I forgot to put a plastic holder piece to hold that out. So do that, loosen it up. There's just some pop pins behind that that you can easily just pop that piece back in. Once I've got that set the way that I like it, I'm going to go ahead and take my knife. And again, you can get the blade in behind the grill emblem and use the side of the blade and against that as your cut line. And then you can cut off the rest of the excess in there. And I'm taking a little bit of time again because I really wanted to do a nice, good, clean looking job here to do this uh, and get it looking really good. So, um, Finishing up the bottom side now, essentially did the same. The bottom was a little bit easier. So it's trimming off using again, the side of my blade against the side of the underside of the grill emblem, trimming that off nice and clean. There's a little gap that the blade tip will fit in nicely. And then on the top side, same thing. I'm just cutting against the back side of that grill emblem, floating into that empty space, pulling out the excess. And this side, aside from picking out some of the vinyl that's behind there still, is essentially done and so that's how i tackled the corners of the grill bar emblem and so guys this is a fully wrapped chevrolet grill bar emblem with all the letters individually cut out all right guys so i hope the video tutorial has shown you that while this is a tedious process, it is doable and overall not that difficult, especially if you're using a good film like this KPMF film was. So speaking of that, have you guys used KPMF before? Have you used this color before? If you have used KPMF film before, did you like it or did you not like it? Drop some comments below and let me know. All right, guys, so I hope this video has been helpful, informative, entertaining, and value added for you in some way, shape, or form. If you did like this video, guys, give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button as well. Also, don't forget to boop that bell notification button so you get notices whenever I post new content to the channel. I've got more videos in the works and on the way that I'd love to share with you. Guys, thanks again for watching and have a great day.